Well, right now we are at Stair Hole, just to the side of Lulworth Cove. And this is uh, one of the most interesting places on the Jurassic Coast, I think, because not only have we got some fantastic lower Cretaceous stratigraphy exposed here, and the layers of the Purbeck Limestone group behind us, um, we've also got some fantastic geography and landforms and landscape. So, of course, Lulworth Cove, uh, everybody knows about. Uh, Stair Hole is often described as the proto Lulworth Cove. So, in maybe 10,000 years' time, this is where the next Lulworth Cove is going to form. But for now, it's just this little inlet uh, where the sea has come through the hard rocks on the seaward side and then started to erode the soft rocks behind. Um, but going back to the geology, the other reason why I think this is a really interesting place is that something a little bit strange is going on. You can't help but notice that these layers of rock behind me uh, are all vertical. Well, uh, and, and bent and folded and stuff, and they, sh they should be, though they would have been laid down as horizontal flat layers of sediment. So something truly epic must have happened to change them so dramatically. And that event was around 20, 25 million years ago, and it was actually Africa colliding with Europe. So plate tectonics and continental drift um, is, a, is an ongoing process. And about 25 million years ago, Africa and uh, Europe were separated by an ocean, the Tethys Ocean. And that closing um, meant that Africa collided with Europe and those enormous earth pressures, those enormous earth movements created the Alps. Um, now we're not in the middle of the mountain range here of course, but those pressures rippled north through the Earth's crust and deformed lots of the different rocks along the south coast of England. And in fact they are called the Alpine structures of southern England. And this is one of them. Um, this is called the Lulworth Crumple, is, uh, the way the rocks have been deformed here. And it's right at the edge of a larger fold called the Purbeck Monocline. And it completely controls the landscape of Purbeck. And that's often what you see with structures like this. They do strange things to the rocks, and then the rocks um, are eroded later on to create magnificently diverse and interesting landscapes.